Hello again and welcome to lab 21. Um, this is oxidation reduction reactions or redox. Um, there are a couple of stages to it and it will take quite a while to work your way through the lab. So let's get started. Over here we have the large 600 milliliter beaker. Um, we have acetic acid, we have the steel wool and we have our scale. So what we're going to do first off is turn on the scale let it zero out and we'll take one gram of steel wool, about one gram. They measured it precisely when they were packing, so we have one gram of steel wool. Don't presume that it is one gram, even though it says it on the label. So we're going to take the steel wool, and we're so we're going to take the steel wool, and we're going to put it in here after we've put 150 milliliters of acetic acid. So pour 150 milliliters of acetic acid into the beaker. steel wool in there. And now we're going to take the beaker over to the stove top and put it in a pan of water. Right, so now we have our beaker with the uh, steel wool in. We're going to turn on the heat. Going to put the beaker into about one inch of water. You're going to let this simmer for about 45 minutes. Um, don't let it boil actively, just get it so it's simmering. And you want to reduce it down to 50 milliliters and that'll give us the iron 2 acetate that we're looking for. So while we're waiting for that to do its thing, um, we've got here, just take your Erlenmeyer flask, funnel, and a piece of filter paper. I've just folded the filter paper in half, folded it in half again, and then just round it out. So we're going to filter this solution down after it is cooled. Make sure that it's cooled before you start to filter it. So we'll wait for 40-45 minutes until that's gotten where it needs to be, and we'll come back, we'll take it off, we'll let it cool down, and then we'll filter it through. After 45 minutes or so, um, our solution went down from 150 milliliters to 50 milliliters, or thereabouts. Um, I've also left it for another 15 minutes or so, so it's, it's, it's at room temperature. Um, you'll see that it's a, a murky solution, but this is our iron 2 acetate. So all that we're going to do now is take the iron 2 acetate solution from the 600 mil beaker and we're going to filter it out. So again, the filter paper that we've just set up, filter paper into the funnel and into the Erlenmeyer flask. So while this is draining, I'm going to leave this over here. It should be stable. I'm going to wash the 600 mil beaker. We're going to be using this again um, for the next part. But in preparation for that next part, we're going to do a few things. Take the weighing scale. Um, you need a weigh boat. Turn on the weigh scale. Weigh boat on. Zero the scale. And we're going to weigh in three grams of cream of tartar. It says that there are three grams in the packet. I've come across some where they've been off by about 
but no, this looks like it's it's close to. I've got 2.6 at the moment. Nine. And there's some in the corner there. There we go. 3.0. Okay. So now the washing is done. We have a clean 600 milliliter beaker. Our filtering is done. We'll leave this over here. So the next step is to take 150 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide and put it in the beaker. Um, no need to measure with the graduated cylinders since there's marking already here. Okay, so I just realized that the battery died on the camera. All that I've done in the meantime was to pour in the 3 grams of cream of tartar and stirred it thoroughly. I've also here poured um, 15 milliliters of the iron 2 acetate into a graduated cylinder and put the thermometer in. Just wanted to get a thermometer uh, temperature reading. So we're going to be putting this 15 milliliters of iron 2 acetate into our cream of tartar and hydrogen peroxide solution. And we're going to have to time it. So let's get our timer. Before, have your timer ready so as soon as you pour in, we know what the time zero is, that's the current reading um, of the iron 2 um, acetate. So we have that. Remove our stir, remove the thermometer. I'm just going to put the thermometer in here already. So about every 10 seconds, um, we're going to take a reading for around two minutes. Okay, so every 10 seconds for two minutes we're going to take a reading of the temperature. It should rise significantly, so I'm just going to put a towel underneath here in case your surface is delicate. It will protect it. Okay, so we are ready to go. So you're going to keep going until you see the color change. 15 mils in, timer on. And 10. You can hear it fizzing, that's the carbon dioxide being released. And 20. This fizzing is perfectly normal. And 30. And 40. And 50. And 60. Seventy and eighty and ninety, a minute and a half. You're watching the color change also, don't forget about that. One minute fifty.
two minutes. And you just keep going. Now you're going to chart the color change and the temperature for each of those 10 second increments. So that's the end of this lab. Um, we just have one more to do in the series. Good luck with the calculations.